Hello everybody, my name is Bob and this is a KSP Quickie with Bob. Uh, and the objective of our Quickie today is to test out a parachute mod, uh, the name of which is, escapes me, but this is the, uh, the part, uh, basically which allows um, um, the Kerbal to parachute individually uh, from space. Uh, so we are going to attempt to do just that. This is my space plane I created for this purpose. Um, and uh, so let's get him uh, at a very high uh, apoapsis uh, and uh, plummet him into the earth and see what happens. Yes. Okay, we have uh, Charlie Kerman uh, with us today. You may remember Charlie from some of my previous episodes, the one where I was trying to figure out uh, uh, esoteric ways of killing Kerbals. Um, I have not tested this airplane. This is my first, first time out. Let's go ahead and see if the thing works. Lift off. Gear up. And you may have noticed I have the uh, have the manatee flag on here. Space manatee loves you. Haven't used that in a while, so I figured I'd pull it out. Okay, well, uh, this, uh, this looks like it is performing uh, up to par. Let's go ahead. I'll go ahead and get him up up into space, and we'll see what comes next. Okay, well, um, uh, jettisoning all the parts that were supposed to jettison caused an explosion, but everything appears to be okay now, so let's go ahead and get him pointed straight up. Straight the fuck up. There you go. Just go right up. <coughs> we're just going to have him just go on out to space until he runs out of gas. We don't have to save anything for um, for getting orbit because we're not trying to get orbit. We're just trying to get a very uh, sizable um, uh, apple absence. Uh, and as you notice here, though, I jettisoned the um, the uh, engines, which caused some manner of explosion, but I can't tell what broke off. So I guess it's okay. I don't know what that is. Space debris, perhaps. Well, that should be good enough uh, apple absence. Go ahead and warp on out to our apple absis. We'll get him in uh, out to in into space walking, uh, and we will put on his parachute, and hopefully he'll be able to parachute safely to the Earth. Possibly. Could be. Maybe. You never know. Okay, well, he, honestly, he's, he's, he's engaging in a death-defying act, especially at that, that entry angle. Uh, but uh, we'll, we'll see how it goes, yeah. That's pretty close to the apoapsis. Let's go ahead and have you... Um, Step out here, buddy. Uh, I'm not sure how I go about getting him the uh, the actual part. Perhaps I just get him close to it and say, equip parachute. Okay. All right. Well, we got we got a parachute evidently. <coughs> so uh, we're just going <coughs> to sorry. We're just going to be sacrificing the um, spacecraft, uh, which is it, it's done its uh, it's done its job. Uh, let's back. Back away from it a little bit. All right. All 
Hopefully we'll be close enough to the, to the uh, spacecraft to watch it burn up in the uh, atmosphere. Actually, not burn up the atmosphere, crash it to the ground. Uh, Alright, that's good. I should be able to see whatever vessel that is, maybe. What vessel is that? Oh well, doesn't matter. We'll go hang out, out with the uh, spacecraft while we're in the atmosphere. Not too close. Okay, let's go ahead and um, semi-deploy. Well, no, not yet. Burn it up! All right, well, it's time to semi-deploy. Okay, where is the spacecraft? Way up there somewhere. Hope it doesn't run into me. Where is the spacecraft? Oh, I don't know. Spacecraft has disappeared. Perhaps because it has wings, it it um, it uh, caught the air. Perhaps caught the air and went drifting. Oh, this may take a while. Okay, we're gonna <clears throat> we're gonna do a halo jump here instead of. Uh, the typical um, uh, 500 meters deployment, we're going to go for 200 meters, or 250 meters. Don't want to be too reckless. Uh, 300 meters. All right, little guy. Just gotta wait for you to splash down. Looking pretty up positive about the whole thing. Space manatee loves you. Uh, he's actually pretty enthusiastic about it. <coughs> okay, almost there. Ready for splashdown, dude? And splashdown. And ragdoll. What happens if I try to do an upward jet? No, nothing happens. No, he's the, the jetpack's totally in, uh, inoperative. <coughs> well, despite the fact that you're in the middle of the, of the ocean with nothing around you for hundreds and hundreds of miles, uh, we will assume that you will get rescued at some point. And if not, your your spacesuit floats, so, you know, that's a plus, right? Okay, that's all for this uh, KSP Quickie, uh, and until next time, hasta la vista. Adios.